Hey guys, Berinfos here and welcome to the last episode of my GTA LCS 100% walkthrough. This is the last mission in the game. I'm currently standing at 99% game completion. After I complete this mission, however, I will achieve 100%. I'll show you the rewards, how to complete the last mission, and we're gonna have a good time together doing it. So, let's begin. The Sicilian Gambit. No, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Tony! Sally! Sally. Hey, we're both back. You and me, we did it, huh? You no, know it. I did we it. Cleaned it up with the Ferrellis, the Sindacos we sent into the fucking sea. Now I got the Sicilians on the phone wanting peace. We all want peace. But my peace, not their fucking peace. Yeah. I'm the big man now. Yeah, wait, no chump from I'm the big man. Country's gonna tell me what to do. I told them to go fuck themselves. You did. <laughs> Was that wise? Hey, I'm the boss now. Me. No, me. Now let's go see the mayor about getting my charges dropped. I'm better. So anyway, before you begin this mission, I highly suggest you buy some minigun ammo. The minigun is very helpful in this mission. Buy it from over here. It's very expensive. It's 10,000 bucks a piece. And I bought a bunch, as you can see. It's gonna be required, not required, but very helpful at the end of this mission. Step on it, Tony. If I'm right, the Sicilians will be going after the mayor. We gotta get to him before they do. Yeah, we have to go to Stone Island. So, why did I choose the car? I usually choose the bike. The bike is very helpful for many missions and this is one of the only missions in which I'm gonna tell you that the bike is not actually better than the car. Because the Sicilians are gonna chase you. If you have a bike, they're gonna push you off. You may get lucky and never see a single Sicilian like I'm doing right now, I'm not seeing anybody right now. But if you get lucky, you could use the bike and it's not gonna be an issue. But with the car you're more secure. Let's see, any Sicilians? No Sicilians? Okay, I got lucky this time, but sometimes you may not. And a bike is not a good option for this mission. Now this mission is pretty disappointing, I might say. The majority of the mission is just a rail shooter, you're just gonna... Use manual aim and the car is gonna drive itself, the boat is gonna drive itself, you're gonna drive a boat. Well, technically a cell is gonna drive the boat, and you're just gonna shoot from the boat. That's pretty much half the mission is that. Which kinda sucks. It's a pretty disappointing last mission, but it's still a pretty good one nonetheless. No prop, Sally. So, we have to kill these bastards, which sounds easy and it is very easy. Lousy bastards have taken him already! Damn bitches. Okay, let's get a car and let's move on to the pier. Let's go to the pier, Sally. The cops can be an issue here, sometimes they spawn pretty close by and they're gonna get you and you're gonna fail the mission. Now don't go around, just jump from here. Sally does not have to be with you in order to continue the mission. So just come here and foot. And he took the mayor. Plop. Next part of the mission. <laughs> Come on, Tony, this way. That was the easiest part of the mission. And here I'll comes the, you keep us the second to hardest part of the mission. And this is the longest part too. Where did those bastards come from? Yeah, seriously. I mean, you're gonna see lots of bolts in this mission. Where the fuck did they find so many bolts? How did they smuggle them into America? They are Sicilians, how the fuck did they take so many bolts into this country? <laughs> Look at that, that was an amazing jump. Whee! Now this mission is very action packed, this part of the mission especially is very action packed. But it's just a real shooter guys, you're not doing much, you're just aiming and shooting. Pressing two buttons, the analog stick and the one of the buttons. And that's basically the whole, the, half the mission, not the whole mission. Now later on, once we finish this rail shooter part, is the hardest part and that's really exciting. But if you have the minigun, it's gonna be done in a few seconds. <laughs> so, don't get your hopes up for an amazing last showdown or something. Thank you, thank you, I'm the best. Not you, Mr. Salvatore. Or Sally. I call you Sally, because you're a girl with that moustache. <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah, guys, GTA LCS is over. Are you sad? I'm sad, but I'm not sad at the same time because in the future, in the very soon future, we're gonna start the next GTA walkthrough. That's gonna be up to you guys. At the end of the video, I'm gonna mention something. So stick around for that if you want to control the outcome of the next walkthrough. So yeah, stick around for the end and you're gonna benefit from it, I hope. So there we go, as you can see, where the fuck did the, all these boats come from? Have you ever seen this many boats in GTA games? Ever? Like, what the fuck? How did this happen? How did it go through the radars of the Americans? How did they allow a bunch of Sicilians just <laughs> smuggling these? All these bolts in here. Uh, bam! Bam, I mean. <laughs> okay. We are at pretty much the end of the mission. This part, I mean, of the mission. Okay. Don't look at the guys on the pier yet. Okay, no more bolts. Good, you can look at the guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Just make sure all the bolts are gone before you destroy these ones because they are gonna be a problem. Bastards are on this rock. I don't know. You shoot one bastard and another one bites you on the ass. You have all the good conversations. Okay. All the cool words. Plop and the plop. Okay. Now this guy is a huge problem. I hate this bastard. He's gonna cause so much trouble to me every single time he causes so much trouble. I hit him. Look at all the health he took from me. Now these boxes help him a lot. That's why he's such a huge issue. Almost no health left. Which sucks. Torini! It figures! Give him up! The mayor is mine! This city is mine! No, it's mine! Salvatore! Sicily never wanted Christos Kifo di Citta. But when tribute to Dryland, what could we do? It was nothing personal. Nothing personal? After what you put me through, I'm gonna tear your fucking heart out. By I'm gonna tear your hair, fucking hair out, you mean I'm gonna do it, right? Me, Tony. Not you, Sally. Super ass Sally. And mission done. That's it, if you have the minigun, that's it for the mission. This chase, if you have a rocket launcher, is extremely long and extremely tedious. You may die. But if you have the minigun, it's just aim and shoot. You don't even have to aim, just press hey, a button. Mr. Mayor, How to aim is here. We just saved you from that bunch of crazy Sicilians. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, damn bitches. And that means... Uh, the uh, city is uh, grateful to you? Ow. Try again. That you work for me, right? Oh yeah, uh, that I work for you. Yeah. Good. Now don't call us, we'll call you. Get out of here, prick. Asshole. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Tony! We did it! We run things now, you and me, we're a team, huh? No, me and me. Now I just need you to do one small thing for me. I got some problems that I've been dealing with. Hello, Grimpa. Hey, Uncle. How you doing, huh? You look good. Ah, so good. All we really wanted was clarity. Yes, Uncle. I appreciate that. So, we are at peace now. You. And the old country. Of course, me and all my people. Good, very good. Hello. Yeah. No, hello. I'll kill you someday. Sneaky little bastard. I wouldn't trust him a fucking inch. He heard you. Yeah, but we did it. I did it. Yeah, we cleaned up. 
You did good, Tony. You did real good. I always knew you was a good kid. You saved my ass a few times, and I appreciate that kind of loyalty. Thank you. A good worker? I like that. Respectful. So I got you that half million I promised you. Half? Ooh, I thought you, uh, said a couple. <laughs> I said one million dollars. For what? You can put a price on friendship? The kind of friendship you and me have? Dude. Shame on you. Come here. Dude, I did all the work. Don't kiss on me on my mouth. You're a good kid. <laughs> but shame on you. Ew. Gross fucker. Give me my million. And with that, guys, we put the end of this game. I completed the game at 100%. Now, part of the reason why this mission was kind of disappointing was that we did not see much of the main antagonist in this game. We only saw him a couple of times. And that was pretty much it. I did not hold a huge grudge against him during this whole game. So, killing him was not so satisfying as, for instance, killing... I'm actually not gonna say who I killed in the other GTA games because you may have not played them. If you have not played them, you can watch my walkthroughs of those games of GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas. But yeah, this final mission was kind of disappointing both in the gameplay aspect and in the moral aspect. But anyway, I'm gonna skip these credits and I'll show you the rewards you get after 100%. And that's it guys, we completed the game, we got a half a million bucks. That's one of the rewards. The next reward is, you'll never run out of ammo. As you can see, I'm shooting so much and I'm still getting back my ammo. You also got some multiplayer content, which is only available on the PSP version of the game. I'm using the PSP version, but on an emulator, so I don't have that reward. The next reward is a tank at Fort Stoughton. So let's go and get it. The Rhino Tank location is over here in Von Stoughton and there's always gonna be this guard guarding it. And you can take it from here. That's for the 100% rewards. We have another reward for completing the last mission, which is... A new outfit at your wardrobe. Which looks pretty damn cool, because I'm the king of the game. I completed this game in... 27 hours and 17 minutes. So now, here comes the question to you guys. Which game do you want me to do next? I have completed GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas, and now Liberty City Stories at 100%. It's up to you guys which game I'm gonna play next. Is it gonna be GTA Vice City Stories, GTA 4 or GTA 5? Choose wisely because the one with the most votes will be the next one for a walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment with your game of choice and I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Bye bye.